Hi, you're watching Joy of Kosher with Jamie Geller, and today we are making light, fluffy, perfect matzo balls. Now, these are great for Passover or year-round, because in my house, matzo balls are not just for Passover. This is an awesome recipe, and we have it weekly to staple. So we start with four eggs lightly beaten. So we've got three eggs in our bowl here. So in a kosher kitchen, we check the eggs for blood spots. So I always crack the egg into a glass. The three in the bowl have already been checked. I'm just gonna pour this into the bowl. I'm gonna give you lots of tips to make these light and fluffy, and one of them is a fork, not a whisk, but lightly beat with a fork for like 30 to 60 seconds. Next is our seltzer. Now this is the ultimate secret. People put in water, people put in chicken broth. It's all about the seltzer. That's how you get the light and the fluff. So I'm really bad at opening seltzer. Usually I make my husband do it, it explodes all over me. Say a little prayer, because, ah, it worked. So this gets half a cup of seltzer. Now remember when you are doing liquid measures, you wanna use a liquid measuring cup, a clear glass cup with a pour spout, and you're just getting half a cup in, and this goes right into your eggs. Perfect. Third of a cup of oil, and then it goes right into the eggs. Whisk this together for another like 15 to 30 seconds, lightly beaten with a fork. You know, I got this recipe from my cousin Bracha when I came to Israel and I asked her, where's the matzo ball mix in the supermarket? She's like, are you kidding me? It's so easy to make your own. So now I will never ever go back to the mix. Now our piece de resistance, our matzo meal, one cup. Now this recipe makes 28 matzo balls. So this one cup goes right in. Okay, now again with our fork, our trusty little fork, no special equipment needed here. Just lightly mix and incorporate everything. Be careful not to overmix. I just pull it together from the bottom and you'll see it's gonna all come together. That's it, that's your matzo ball mixture. So we just cover it up and it's going to go in the fridge to chill and firm up. And here we don't have to wait, I've already prepared some for us and we'll head over to our heavily salted water has come to a rolling boil. This is exactly what we want. Our matzo ball mixture is nice and firm. This next tip is for nice round, perfectly round matzo balls. Everyone always says, Jamie, how do you get the matzo balls into perfect circles? I prefer the cooking sprayer or, or oil method. I think it works best. Just a little bit into my hand. Rub it around like kind of lotion. Too much doesn't work, just a little. So you want to take about one to two tablespoons worth. Now remember the matzo balls are going to at least double in size and gently, gently, right? Do not apply a lot of pressure. My husband calls it riding the rails. I'm just riding the outsides of my palm and creating a nice circle, about one to two inches in diameter. We like big matzo balls in our house, so remember it will expand when it cooks. Here's the nice matzo ball, gently place it into the hot water. Okay, so now we're gonna cover our matzo balls. Let them simmer about 30 to 40 minutes and then they're gonna be ready to eat. Delicious, I'm so excited. Okay, so it's been 30 to 40 minutes. Our matzo balls are done. They look beautiful. Now, in our family, we eat matzo balls with everything. Chicken soup, cabbage soup, split pea soup. So do whatever you'd like. You can add them to your soup and then just um, heat up your soup and serve them. Now, I just have it in two separate pots, so we'll just ladle them together. I just wanna show you, uh, use this a strainer when you're adding them to your soup and also scoop from the bottom so that the matzo balls keep their nice, beautiful shape that we work so hard on. So you could add them to the soup or add them to your bowl. Then of course, we'll ladle a little bit of our chicken soup with julienne carrots into our bowl. Perfect. So you've got to take a look at this finished product. Beautiful, light, fluffy, perfectly circular matzo balls, julienne carrots, chicken soup. I cannot wait to eat this. It's like butter, amazing. Mm. Love it. This is everything you've ever wanted out of a matzo ball. For the complete recipe, go to joyofkosher.com and visit us often. I'm Jamie Geller. Thanks for watching.